Do you want to learn how to create flexible, extensible, object-oriented architectures using abstract base classes and Python? If you do, stick around. In this example, uh, I'll just use a very simple fleet simulation. Okay. The uh, architecture for it will consist of three abstract base classes. The center class uh, vessel will contain a weapon and a power plant. Okay. Uh, each of these abstract classes uh, specify behavior for each of these types. So the weapon specifies behavior for a weapon. The power plant specifies behavior for a power plant. And the vessel specifies behavior for a vessel. Okay. Now, um, if you get your specifications right for behavior, then your architecture becomes very stable. And in order to create different types of behavior, you don't modify, right, your abstract base classes, you simply extend them, right? So for example, if we want to create a submarine, we extend vessel, um, and then we extend weapon to create whatever type of weapon system we want, and we extend power plant, and then submarine would then consist of a torpedo and a Mark V reactor in this case, right? Um, or other classes as we create. Similarly, if we wanted to create a cruiser, right, we could then create a, uh, a CWIS close in weapon system, right, uh, object, and then a, a different type of power plant or a gas turbine engine, right? So your architectures become very stable at the top and then you use derived classes. This is object oriented programming 101, but I'm going to show you how to do this in Python, okay? So let's take a look at some technical details. Uh, the machine I'm using, which, you know, uh, it's not that big a deal, right? So Mac Pro 8 core running OSX Sierra. I'm using Python 3.7.3. I'm using virtual environment. You can get that off the web. Sublime text editor, sublime text, right? And then iTerm2, which is just a terminal uh, option for uh, Mac. Now you can do all this stuff in Linux. You can do it in Windows, right? You just, you know, probably some different tools that you're going to be using. Some implementation details. Uh, I'll start with the abstract classes, okay? The source folder organization, I'm going to use uh, different packages. I'm going to use a package for uh, power plants, weapons, and vessels. And then up at the very top in the fleet simulation folder, I will have a main app.py, which then runs everything, right? I might even start with main app.py um, and then implement the uh, abstract base class power plant, weapon, and then vessel because vessel uh, depends on those. And then I'll start with, uh, and then next I'll implement the concrete classes, the Mark V reactor, the torpedo, uh, and then the submarine. And then uh, go back to the main app.py class and get everything running. So uh, let's, let's get to it. To start, I'm going to create my uh, folder, a project folder and package structure, and then crank up my virtual environment. I'm in my uh, Python. Uh, development directory. Uh, so I'm going to use this virtual environment here. So uh, in on Mac and Linux, the way you crank this up is you would do uh, source uh, and then env 3.7.3 slash bin slash activate. Okay, then you see here, right, I have my, I'm using that virtual environment. Um, <clears throat> next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change to my projects folder. And uh, I'm going to create, so make dir fleet sim, fleet simulation folder. And then I'm going to change to my fleet simulation folder. And uh, presto, nothing up my sleeves and nothing there yet, right? So now I'm going to make uh, each of the packages. So um, if I go to, well, let's see, mkdir, I'll start with weapons. 
So essentially, these are folders, right? And then make their uh, vessels. And make their power plants. So you got to remember, like, so uh, in Python, right, your package and uh, module names, modules are your files, packages are your folder structures, right? Those are all lowercase. You want to keep those lowercase, right? So power plants. Now uh, let's do a DIR. So let's then, you know, let's start with, uh, well, we'll create a main app up here, right? So I'll just say touch main app.py. Okay. Now I have a main app py here. Let's go ahead and create the inits. So cd, actually, let's do this touch. Main app. I'll see power plants. Power plant slash oops, in it dot py. So every uh, package that you have in Python, right, has to have an in it double underscore init double underscore dot py file in each uh, package directory, right? So here I'm going to create one for power plants, and then I'll create one. For uh, vessels, and one for weapons. Now, technically, your your init.py files don't have to have anything in them; they just have to exist in those directories. Uh, so <clears throat> let's just uh, work on the main app. So I'm going to uh, open projects. Okay, so I'm going to uh, fleet simulation. I'll open main app.py. And of course, there's nothing up in here right now, right? I'll close untitled. Now I'm just going to go, I'll say uh, def main, and I'll say, uh, con I'll say um, print. I'll give it the old hello world. Okay, the whole point of this is just get this uh, main file started. So uh, if Uh, name, oops, let's go, but yeah, name equals equals main, and then call the main method. I like doing this pretty much no matter, you know, what project I'm doing, there'll be a main, main app.py. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so uh, now that we're, we have this file, let's take a look at it, dir. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and try it. So we'll do Python. Python main app. Okay, so we have our hello world right here. Dink, dink, dink. Right there. So we got, we have the main app at least started. Okay. Now let's, uh, uh, let's open, or let's actually create a new file. So let's uh, let's start with uh, weapon, okay. So file save as. So uh, let's go to weapons, and we'll call this weapon.py. Okay, weapon.py. So uh, in order to use abstract-based classes, right, so this will be an abstract-based class, we're going to have to import uh, from the ABC uh, library, uh, import uh, two classes, ABC meta and abstract method. 
Okay. And then we'll create a class. And uh, now class names are capitalized weapon. And it will inherit from a meta class equals uh, ABC meta. Then next thing we do is we're going to create a constructor. And of course it's a class, right? So we'll have a self. And uh, the only thing this thing is really going to do is the constructor is just going to print a message. And it'll say weapon object created. Okay. <clears throat> I do this for tracing. So when we run, uh, when I run the program, we can trace the execution. Now, the other two methods that I'm going to put in here, one is going to be called aim and fire. So you're going to aim a weapon, fire the weapon. Okay. Uh, but they're not going to have any behavior. So uh, we will apply the abstract method um, property to these two methods, right? And this will signal the, the uh, interpreter that these methods don't have any implementation. So abstract method, def, def, uh, aim, the name of the method, self. And we're just going to put a pass here. Like, okay, there's no functionality, so don't look for any. Another abstract method, def. A fire self and again pass okay save that and uh, that's that's pretty much that's as that's as much as the weapon as I need for now this is the abstract base class right so uh, next thing we're going to do is power plant so I'm going to create a new file and save it save as and I'm going to move over to the power plants folder and call this power plant. Now notice the Python file names, right, are in lowercase. These are modules, so they're in lowercase. So this is power plant. And again, right, we uh, import from, app, from the uh, ABC um, library. So ABC import ABC meta comma and abstract method. And we uh, define the class power plant, which is in, uh, you know, camel case. So meta class, so it extends uh, ABC meta. And then we give it, <clears throat> excuse me, and a, a constructor, which is an in initialization or an init, right? Double underscore init self. Print, just like weapon, uh, power plant, object created. And then we're going to uh, say uh, two, two abstract methods here will be light off and shut down. So you light off a plant, you shut down a plant. Uh, like I say, this is a very simple example. I don't want to get it too complex. So uh, abstract method, def, light off, self, pass. So the purpose of an abstract class is really just to define, or not define, right? Define means you're actually implementing stuff, but to to uh, specify behavior, right? So so when you specify the me uh, behavior for a power plant, you know, in my opinion, right? It is you're going to light off the power plant, you're going to shut down the power plant. So we're just saying that anything that inherits from this class must implement at least these two methods, right? Light off and shut down, especially when you want to treat things polymorphically. Okay, so polymorphic behavior is really the key to getting uh, 
object oriented you know you're not really doing object oriented programming you might be doing object centric programming or object focused programming i don't even know what you'd call it right but if you're if you're doing if types like if you're checking types for the type that they are that's not object oriented programming you want polymorphic behavior you want to define an architecture at an abstract and then you want to supply objects that meet those specifications and then sit back and smoke a cigar and not worry about whether or not your shit's going to work right so that's pretty much what we're trying to do here. All right, so um, <clears throat> so we save this. I'll put another couple carriage returns in here. Now, vessel. Okay, so file, new file. Uh, file, save as. Save as. Okay, so we're going to go into the vessels package. I'm going to call this vessel.py. Okay. Now, vessel will be a little bit more uh, involved. The vessel <clears throat> is going to have two uh, fields. Okay. It too is going to uh, inherit from ABC meta, so we have to say from. ABC import ABC meta and abstract method. And then define the class class vessel meta class equals um, ABC meta. And we're going to give it and a constructor as well in it uh, except instead of just self the constructor for a vessel will take two arguments I'll call it weapon and power plant now I'm going to create two um, fields for a uh, for it one call weapon very important, self.weapon, right? Self.weapon equals weapon. And self, oops, not wealth, <laughs> self. Self.powerplant uh, equals power plant. And then I'll do a print and I'll say uh, vessel object created okay now we're gonna have four abstract methods one's going to be uh, abstract method one one method will call uh, I'll say thinking of the vessel right so the vessel has a weapon and a power plant uh, the weapon will you'll be able to uh, light off the plant, shut down the plant, aim the weapon, fire the weapon. Okay, so uh, we'll at least give a vessel that much functionality for this demo. So I'll start off with light off plant. Light off plant itself. And of course, this is an abstract method in this class, right? So we'll say pass. <clears throat> Okay, and then we'll do the uh, same thing down here, abstract method, def, uh, shutdown plant, self, okay, pass. Abstract method. Let me roll up here. Def. And this will be aim weapon. Self. Pass. And uh, abstract. Let's pass. 
abstract method def fire weapon. Not feed weapon. Fire weapon itself. Now there's probably a couple different ways you could do this, right? This is very straightforward implementation. So a vessel, <clears throat> the abstract base class vessel simply says, let me come down here and make this bigger. An abstract base class vessel specifies the following behavior. You can, first off, you can create a vessel. And to create a vessel, you have to supply a weapon and a power plant. And then you set the, the, um, the uh, variables, right, or the fields for the class. And then you have uh, four abstract methods, one called light off plant, shut down plant. Now what happens is, is that whatever type of vessel, okay, uh, actually implements these methods. In other words, these methods must be implemented somewhere down the inheritance hierarchy. So if a submarine, you have a submarine class, a submarine will have to then provide, um, you know, we'll have to call actually implement these methods. And we'll see that implementing the light off uh, plant is simply a matter of actually calling light off on the object that's passed in to a submarine. Okay. And of course, at this point, we don't know what type of object is being passed in. And we don't really care what type of object is being passed in because we're going to interact with these objects via their their uh, interface, which is what an abstract base class provides, right? It's an interface. Okay, so at this point, uh, we can't really run anything because we don't have any uh, nothing to create, right? Everything's an abstract class. So let's start with um, let's start with a concrete implementation of weapon. So we'll start with torpedo. All right. So let's go back. Let's go file new file and we're going to uh, save this in the weapons package so I'm going to select the weapons package and I'm going to call this torpedo dot py now uh, torpedo needs to know about weapon right because uh, torpedo is going to extend weapon or inherit from weapon so uh, from uh, weapons, now we have to go package, right, dot weapon, which is the module from weapons package dot weapon, right, which is uh, the module, that's the file name, right, weapon dot py import then the class name, weapon, which is capitalized. Okay. Now that we have that out of the way, we can say class torpedo, capital T, torpedo. And then in the parentheses, we say which class we want to extend, weapon. And we'll give it a constructor, double init, uh, self. Now we're going to call the base constructor. We'll say super uh, torpedo. So this this is like super. We're going to call it from the torpedo class self, and we're going to call the uh, init like that. So we're just going to call the weapon in it. Now the weapon in it, all it does is just print out, right? The reason we want to do this is because the weapon class prints out a message, right? So you have to call that method. You have to call that constructor if you want that trace message to be printed out, right? Or if there's any initialization that you must do in that weapon class, right? So uh, even though all we're doing is print out a message, we're going to call that base class uh, weapon uh, constructor and then in this class we're going to print out a message that just says torpedo object created okay
Now uh, def, right? So now we have to implement. So def aim self. So, uh, okay, so we're gonna just print out a message. Um, so what does it mean to aim a torpedo, right? So it means this for this simple simulation. This is what's gonna happen when we aim a torpedo. I'll say torpedo is uh, aim. Okay. Now, when we fire the torpedo, we're going to say print torpedo away swoosh and then running like kaboom. Target destroyed. Okay. And I guess I better put a ending semicolon. There we go. So uh, let me make this a little bit wider. There we go. So now for a torpedo, now we can test torpedo actually, since we finally have something, right? That's the concrete class. So if we go back to our main app, now we have to say, um, so we have to import, we have to say from, we don't have to import the, the uh, we don't have to import, you know, the weapon, but we have to import the torpedo, right? So from weapons, So from the weapons package, from the torpedo module, uh, import torpedo, capital T, the class. So now we can create an instance of torpedo. So let's go to the main method and we can say torpedo uh, equals torpedo. Okay, and then we can say torpedo dot aim and torpedo fire. Okay, so so now we can try that, save that, and let's go to the we're in the fleet sim. Now let's just do Python. And then main app, right? Main app.py. And it said, uh, oh, cannot import name T O R P torpedo. Let me go uh, from web. Oh, let's make sure we're in the right package from weapons torpedo. Let's go to. Hang on one second. Okay, uh, so one thing I see right here is from weapons import weapon, right? So we have to actually make that a capital W. That was one problem. Let's try this again. Oh, import. <laughs> so let's see where it says that. I got to fix my typos here, so bear with me. Uh, this is in weapon.py. So let's go to weapon.py and it says M I M P O R T. You guys probably saw that before I did. But uh, anyway, this is a good example of why you want to kind of compile their stuff early, right? Well, not compile it, but run it in Python. Okay, so it says, uh, um, all right, so torpedo super self, right? Oh, dust not in it. Okay, so go back to the torpedo and there should be. Double underscore here. Okay. Uh, run it. 
Yay, okay, so now it works, right? So that was a good exercise, is why as soon as you get something that you can test and run, you want to do it, right? So we have weapon object created, torpedo object created, and then torpedo is aimed and ready to fire, and then torpedo away, swoosh, zzz, target destroyed, right? All right, so <clears throat> we have the... We have everything in place. We have the abstract base class architecture. We've created a torpedo. So now let's go create a powered plant and then a submarine, and then I'll show you how you hook these things up. Okay, so uh, let's go back to, well, let's see, uh, let's do the power plant. Well, we already did the power plant, right? We need to do the, uh, the instance of power plant. So we're gonna do the Mark V reactor. So we're going to say file, new file, uh, file, save, save as. Okay, now we're going to go back to uh, the power plant, power plants package, and we'll call this Mark 5, Mark V reactor, dot PY, Mark V reactor, dot PY. Okay, now uh, from, right, so we're in the power plants package and we're creating a new power plant, okay? So from power plants dot power plant import, make sure it's not import, import power, the power plant. So, uh, you know, the one thing about Oh, I see what happened, right? It automatically switched it to lowercase, so you gotta be careful here. So power plant, right? And just hit return. There we go. So that's probably what happened to me with the weapon. I didn't notice it. So from power plants dot power plant, uh, import power plant. Now we're gonna create the class. So class, um, and this will be capital letters, mark, V reactor, right? Mark V reactor, and it uh, uh, extends power plant. And it has a uh, in constructor method, def in it itself. Okay, and then super uh, mark V reactor self dot now this is where I made a mistake last time right I forgot to put the double underscore just call that um, constructor okay and then print right a trace message here mark v reactor okay object created Oop. okay now we're going to implement our uh, abstract methods we're actually give them implementation so def light off self print so this is what it means to light off a nuclear plant mark a five reactor is powered up. Answer all bells like that. And then def shutdown. Print. Mark five reactor is shut down. Cold and dark. Okay, now uh, now that we have a power plant, we can test the power plant, which I do recommend, right? Make sure we didn't dork anything up here. So we have a torpedo and let's test the power plant. So 
power plant. Actually, yeah, I'll, I'll say nuke plant, right? Reactor equals... Oh, first off, we have to do this. We have to say from... <coughs> power P... From power plants dot power plant import power plant. See, it tries to do it autocorrect. Just space. All right. Reactor equals uh, mark. Oh, we want to do uh, not power plant. We want to say import mark five reactor. Okay, space. Uh, because we don't care about the power plant, right? We just want to create the concrete instances. So uh, mark five reactor. And then we'll say reactor dot light off. And reactor shut down. Now let's run this and make sure everything works hinky dinky. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> let's make sure we have everything right. So uh, from power plants, power plant import mark five reactor. So uh, let's go to mark five reactor. Oh. Okay, so uh, hello, I'm just, uh, I got my head up my butt. So here, instead of power plant, we have to say module name, right? Mark 5 reactor. Mark 5 reactor. All right. You guys, once again, you probably saw that. You're screaming at the screen like, dude, man, pull your head out of your ass. All right, so here we go. Python PY. All right, so that works. All right, so power plant object created, Mark 5, ah, I see power plant object created, but let's go back to the Mark V reactor. Oh, uh, let's see. Mark V reactor. I create. I see that, and then I say print Mark V reactor created. I don't see. So I see power plant object created. I don't see power plant. I see power plant object created. I don't see Mark V reactor object created. Let's go back to main. So Mark V reactor. Light off shut down. Mark V reactor. Uh, print. <clears throat> Let's see what's uh, going on with the weapon. Uh, Torpedo.py. Print torpedo object created. Power plant, Mark V reactor, torpedo. So we got super Mark V reactor, Mark V reactor, Mark V reactor self in it, Mark V reactor object created, import power plant, torpedo. So torpedo object created, Mark V reactor. Oh, here we go. You guys again, in it, all right? That was, uh, that took a little while to find that problem. Okay, okay, I must be losing my touch here. Let's run that again. There we go. So uh, we weren't creating the constructor So power plant object created, uh, Mark V reactor object created, uh, Mark V reactor is powered up and ready to answer all bells, Mark V reactor is shut down cold and dark. Okay. Now, let's do, uh, let's do this. Let's create submarine. Okay, so, uh, we can get rid of all this because all that works. File, new file. File, save as. Now we're going to stick this in vessels, right? So this will be submarine. 
summary.py. Okay. Now from what we need to import here is from vessels dot vessel import vessel and then class summary um, extends vessel so uh, def in it self now uh, it's also going to need a weapon just like the vessel, <coughs> excuse me, the weapon, the vessel class takes a weapon and a power plant. The submarine will need a wep weapon and a power plant. So uh, at this point, we're going to say super, right? Submarine. So we need to call that base constructor now with. Um, this is where you know you, you really see why we're calling the base constructor in the first place in it uh, weapon so we're just passing weapon and the power plant up to the uh, the base class right and then print we'll say submarine object created Now we're going to, so the vessel has four abstract methods, light off plant, shut down underscore plant, aim underscore weapon, fire underscore weapon. So we need to implement those here. Okay, so we go back to submarine and we'll say def, right? Light off underscore plant self. Now all we do here is we call self dot power plant dot light off okay that's it so you're asking like well what's going on here so self dot power plant right well there's no power plant in in submarine but because vessel has a power plant field right then we have access to it so when I say self dot power plant what I'm saying is vessels self dot power plant Let's find vessel class. I'll move it next to it. Okay, so the vessel has a power plant where it, that's where it's declared at, right? And so what happens is in Python, right, it'll go, oh, you're looking for self.power plant. Well, it's not here. Let's go up into the base class and see if it's up there, which it is, right? Now let's finish up. So def uh, shutdown plant. Self self dot power plant dot shutdown make sure you get the method names correct and then def uh, aim weapon so uh, self right self dot weapon dot aim and def fire weapon self self dot weapon file okay now if everything is okay let's go back to the main app now what I want to do here is I just want to create a submarine uh, I will have to uh, say this I'll have to go from vessels uh, submarine import submarine so submarine equals submarine and then all I can do I can do right here I can just say um, torpedo and mark 5 reactor and then I can uh, should be able to say submarine 
dot um, light off plant submarine dot uh, aim weapon submarine dot fire weapon and submarine dot shutdown plant so let's run this and see what happens okay so we have to go uh, file main app vessels from submarine import submarine so vessel submarine line one from vessels vessel import vessel okay let's just go make sure that we're in we got everything right so one more time so we go to a vessel so uh, class vessel okay um, we're in submarine so from vessels dot vessel import v e s s e l all right so okay let me check okay um i don't see anything wrong just let me try file save as I'm going to try to save the vessel since that's where it says the problem's at. Just try save that again. Replace. All right, Python. Dot main app. Okay, everything's working, which it should. Okay, so uh, just to review. So here, let's let's trace through this, right? So. In the main app dot pi right main app python module i create a submarine right i assign it to a variable called submarine <clears throat> and then i say submarine dot light off plant i call the methods right because a submarine submarine right is a vessel it extends vessel and vessel is an abstract class so it has light off plant Shutdown plant, aim weapon, fire weapon. And so uh, Vessel implements these methods. And so when I call light off plant, it in turn just says, hey, call the light off method on the power plant object. Okay. So when we create uh, a submarine, we feed in a weapon and a power plant. So we go back to the main app. Here's the constructor. There's our weapon that we feed into the constructor. There's the power plant we feed in. Now when we call the light off plant method, well, first off, when we actually create the instance of submarine right here, we get these messages. Uh, first off, because the weapon object is created, then the torpedo is created. So right here, right? That gets, this torpedo gets created first. And then the reactor gets created right because we're passing an object of type uh, mark 5 reactor so then the power plant right gets created first and then the mark 5 reactor object gets created next so here this torpedo uh, object created there's I don't have three dots there I could go back and fix that so go to torpedo and just put three dots you know just for uh, standardization now let's run it again okay and then uh, then once we get those two objects created right then the vessel object gets created and then the submarine object gets created so that's why I put those trace messages in there so now when this line finishes execution this line here we have a submarine object that has a torpedo and a mark 5 reactor so now when we call submarine dot light off plant method then we should see mark 5 reactor is powered up and ready to answer all bells the torpedo uh, and okay so then we uh, aim the weapon so then a torpedo is aimed and ready to fire 
Then we fire the weapon. Torpedo away. Swoosh. Zzz, target, target destroyed. And then we shut down the plant. It says Mark V reactor shut down cold and dark. Okay, and so that is uh, abstract based classes. I'm not going to do the cruiser. I just wanted to do the submarine one for you. You could do the cruiser as an exercise. Uh, let's power up uh, PowerPoint and show that diagram one more time. I should have kept this open and not shut it down. Uh, but anyway, just want to review this architecture. Okay, let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so uh, weapon. So here we have our abstract architecture, right? We have weapon, we have vessel, power plant. The vessel contains a weapon, the vessel contains a power plant, and then we subclass as necessary to actually implement functionality. We created a torpedo, we created a mark uh, a, um, for a weapon, we extended power plant to create a Mark V reactor, and then we extended vessel to create a submarine. The submarine then, when we create the submarine, we passed in an object, or we uh, passed in a torpedo and a Mark V reactor to create that vessel. So uh, anyway, this is just a demonstration of how you would take, uh, create a, a very stable, um, top level uh, architecture, object oriented, um, and specify behavior and then create subclasses to actually implement the behavior. If you like this video and you learned a little something, please subscribe. Um, I need all the subscribers I can get. Thank you very much. I'm glad you uh, uh, watched this video. I hope you learned something.